Hey guys, Dr. Deuce back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now today we're going to be using some automation shortcuts and techniques that are really going to speed things up and solve some problems for you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here I've got 16 bars of music that I've produced so far. This is a work in progress. Now there's some automation on this pad section here. I've got two regions here on this pad track. And what I wanna do is show you a couple of things using shortcuts as well as other techniques, how you can control automation. As always, I'm gonna be throwing in additional key commands and shortcuts. So the first one we're gonna do is, as you can see right here, this track is called pad and these regions are called ints2 we're going to use a simple shortcut to rename these regions so that they say pad and to do that the simple shortcut is alt or option shift n okay option shift n we're going to do the same for this uh, these regions here and it's option or alt shift n and let's go up here to the vocoder option shift n and option shift n there we go and down here option shift n okay i'll save that command s okay okay so the next thing i want to do is display the automation on the pad track and all the automation um, on this particular track or these regions they're all linked to the auto filter which i've got displayed so if i was to press a on the keyboard pressing a um, now displaying uh, some of the automation i can click just here and all of the different automation lanes will be displayed so this one right here is pulse width this one is the cutoff um, this one's resonance and the stereo phase now it's quite a bit going on. Let me just play back the piece of audio so you can actually hear what's happening and I'll show you what we can do in terms of controlling this automation. Okay, so as you could hear right there, we've got a vocoded um, piece of audio. We've also got uh, some arpeggiated sounds as well as a pad, different bits happening, different sweeps and that sort of thing. And a lot's happening within the auto filter. Now, what I'm gonna do is solo just the pad section. So you can just hear a little bit of what's going on and you can see what's going on on the, um, the actual auto filter module. Let's play that back. As you can see here, the pulse width is changing. The cutoff is being adjusted. Um, what else is happening? The, the stereo phase is, is being adjusted as well. And I think the resonance will change shortly. Um, anytime now, here we go. Now then, let's say for example, I wanted to get rid of all of this automation here. Let's say, what was, what was this one? This one's the pulse width, um, the pulse width adjustment. Let's say I wanted to get rid of all of that in one go. What I'd do is I'd close this here, command, control, backspace. And I've deleted all of the visible automation on this track. The rest of the automation still exists, but what was visible at the time, we've gotten rid of. Okay, so let's say for example, you wanted to get rid of all of the automation that we've got on this particular track or region. You'd use the shortcut, Command, Control, Shift, Backspace. There you go, all gone. Let's undo that, Command Z, and it's all back. Now the last thing I want to show you is something really, really powerful, which I'm sure is going to make life a lot easier for you. Let's say, for example, you wanted to reduce all of this automation 
by a certain amount. Let's say you wanted to bring it all down by about 50%, okay? How would you go about this in one stroke? Well, you hold the Alt or Option key and you click just about here and everything beyond this point to the right of this point will be reduced by a ratio of whatever you pull down. So let's go holding down the option key and pull down and here we go. And as you can see, everything is coming down exponentially. Here we go. Now that's a fantastic tool that will allow you to adjust the amount of automation on an entire region or track. As always, I hope this video has been useful to you. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And yes, I'll be back real soon. This is Dr. Deuce. Peace.